We'll tell you more about this half-hour daily strip series, but now here is George Trippon, the Vogue Pattern Sewing Authority, in a complete show. You take the high rise and I'll take the low. No, we're not going to Scotland. We're going to make some beautiful and new style trousers. And if you'll stick with me, I'll be right back. So, what's new with George W. Trippard? There are smiles that make us happy. There are smiles that make us blue. No smiles, please. Now, in pants, measurements are the most important thing. And of course, you use a measuring tape to take your own measurements. You do not need someone to come and take your measurements. Now, these are the measurements we take. One is sitting down. This is you sitting down. There's the chair. Now, on women, we measure the inseam far differently than we measure on the men. <laughs> so let me tell you, on a woman, we find their waistline. Put a tape around the waistline if you have to define the waistline. Then you measure from the waist to the seat, and you've reached that area of what we will call our inseam. To the seat, please. What's the matter with me? You measure from here to there. And you've got your rise. All right. Along with that, what you will need in your measurements will be your waistline. And please, a loose, easy measurement like this. In fact, put three or four fingers on it because there's nothing worse than pants being too tight because if they're too tight, they ride up and back. Can you see the riding up? No riding up, please. And then we measure from the waistline, that's the waistline, to the hemline. And you measure yourself the same way. You have a chair, you have a prop. Find your waistline. Measure as far as you can. To there, huh? Good. And from there, pick up your leg. Do you want it there or do you want it there? Just below the ankle is the best place. This is called the out seam. Now, if your out seam is 40 inches and your rise is 11 inches, oh dear, I know why I get into these things, <laughs> then your inseam is 29 inches, naturally. Now, the next measurement you take is around the hip line. Now, please, the hip line is at the largest part of where you are. Here, not up here. So you... Measure yourself loosely, please. Give yourself room. We can always shape it in and take it in. But if you don't have it in there, you might do this and ha, your trousers are gone. <laughs> now, let me also emphasize hip. Can you see hip? We have all these measurements down for you. We will find that the smile in the pants is very, very bad, really. And as I progress with this, you want your slacks to lay beautifully in here. And the minute you see a smile there, you're in trouble. And the way to get rid of this smile is the measurement of what we call the stride. The stride is that area <laughs> from here to there, going that away. <laughs> you know? So you have to be careful about that, because if you don't have enough stride, it's going to pull your pants that way, or pull your pants this way, so you need enough room that way. Now that, of course, comes in the pattern this way. And you take that measurement the same way. You don't have to stride yourself through your stride to get a stride measurement. Just stride yourself through your stride by coming from center front to center back, and by God, you got your stride. <laughs> All right. Now, with that premise in mind, I'm talking about this area of the pants here. 
And of course, you usually plan everything you do before you go to the sewing machine. Because if you don't, huh, you wind up with a skirt. <laughs> I know. Many a time I've wound up with a skirt. We pair our pants. In pairing pants, that means you have a left side and you have a right side. And you have a back left side and a back right side. So you sew up one leg first. Should I be out here someplace so you can see my leg? <laughs> then this leg. When you have this leg together and this leg together, you put both legs together by way of the stride, you know. <laughs> now, in pairing the pants, you take this here. Oh, God. Now, this, I know, is the front. And this, I know, is the back. So I lay, oh, what's the matter with me? This is the front, and that's the front. That's the front, and that's the front. Right, right, I can tell by the notches. You see these two little notches match here? That's a pair. So if you put your darts in, you're working with the right side of the fabric or darts down. And then when you lay this leg on this leg, here, The darts are up, so the right sides of your fabric are together. Now, we have paired this. And why it's important to sew up one leg first, from here to here, the inseam, and then the outseam, is because very often if you sew the outside seam first on this leg and the outside seam on that leg, then people start sewing the two front sections together here and you wind up with a skirt. <laughs> a skirt with a stride in it. <laughs> and where's the stride going to go? Really, you can't do that, really. So you've got to pair this, please. So once again, please, never reach in a box of pins full of snakes, blood all over your garment. Oh. Now, again, when you pin, please, you pin where the seam takes place and then you match the seams and once again we pin at this end seams that sew one into the other must be of equal length then pin midway and then the other side you'll notice one side's wider than the other the back leg is always wider than the front leg then we pin this, and then we pin up here, we pin the other leg. And as I'm pinning these, please be conscious of the fact and be thinking ahead that you have to have the zipper. The zipper's over there by the machine, good. Then pin the other. Now actually, if you know how to plan your garment, you don't have to pin all the way down like that because later you'll just pin in one spot and pin here at this spot. And we'll be going to the machine in a couple of seconds now. So please stick around. Have a cup of coffee, if the coffee is sitting next to you. I'll be right back.